Hey Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so very much for joining me. I do appreciate your viewership, your engagement, your likes, your subscriptions, your comments, whatever you choose to share with me. Let's get into this. Oh, good it is. Let's get into it. All right. So for those of you with Aquarius placements in your chart, this could resonate. It's not going to resonate for everyone. So only take what's your story, leave the rest for someone else. Please do not try to force it to fit. This could be past, present, or future energy. Could also be someone else in your energy field. All right, y'all. Let's get into this. Four cards to start. Hmm. We have powerless, countless suitors. Oh, my, my hair is shedding all over the place. We have sympathy. Hmm. And we have watching you with work overload at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be a Sagittarius here. Um, we have working too hard or too much, stretching yourself thin and sleep deprived. Some of you could be working too much. It could be working multiple jobs or dealing with someone who is, who you may feel like has neglected you, but that's not what I'm picking up. Y'all, what I'm picking up is there's a situation here for you, Aquarius, where someone here, I believe, um, this is your energy with watching you this this sneaky spying energy it says spying on you being sneaky and trying to see if you're with someone else i don't think that's you but if it is you you know take it how it resonates there's a feeling here of being stuck in your head about something here this is gemini energy you could be connected to a, a gemini or have those placements in your chart it says feeling stuck in your head don't know what to do anxiety and blinded love um and then we have uh but countless suitors but you're the only one i see and want we have sympathy and this card says feeling remorseful pity sorrow trouble something that they did and then we have watching you which i already read spying on you and worried about if you're seeing someone else somebody here did something wrong we have please forgive me and i am sorry it's coming through that they're sympathetic about what they have done here um not sympathetic they're they're remorseful about what they've done they want sympathy from you rather is what i meant to say um a lot of you may feel trapped in a connection with someone just energetically i don't feel like you're talking to this person because they're coming up as someone who's like spying on you watching you if they know where you live they could be watching you from their car they got a drone here i don't know y'all maybe they live close by but I do feel like other people are interested in you, but you only see this one person. It says you're the only one I see in one, although there are countless suitors. So you have all of these options, all of these people, but it's like your focus is on this one person. And yet they're thinking that they've done something to push you away. And um, they could see other people watching you, maybe on social media or something like that. Or maybe they've seen you go out with other people. If you are dating other people, I do feel like you're still stuck on this person. Let's get some tarot. Don't want to make these too long. Couple of tarot messages. What's going on? Okay, the nine of cups. Yep. You see this person as your ideal person. Could be a Pisces. We have the moon, ten of cups, nine of swords, eight of wands, or more. And we have the ace of wands. Yeah, somebody wants to start over with you here. <coughs> With this ace of wands, you could be dealing with the fire sign. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. They are definitely remorseful and regretful. Could be a Gemini with this nine of swords. Then we have eight of wands. Expect communication from them. They are about to reach out to you. It's going to come out of nowhere. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. This is them worrying, stressing, and thinking that you're with someone else here. This person had a lot of secrets. They kept a lot of secrets from you because they were they're coming through as someone who... Um, it's like in a sneaky energy. Very sneaky. I feel like they are not sure if you will take them back. A lot of Pisces energy. Some of you could be on the Aquarius Pisces cusp or dealing with one. Ten of Wands coming out again at the bottom of this deck. It's the same as the work overload. Sagittarius energy. You may be connected to a Sagittarius. They could have cheated with some, someone at work. They could have used work as a cover-up. And maybe did something with someone else on their job. But this person is coming through as your wish fulfillment, your happily ever after. This is your ideal person. This is the person that you see yourself with. And I do believe that because 
It says here you have countless other people looking to get with you, but you only want and see this one person. And that's what these cards suggest to me. All right, y'all, let's get into this. What's the Nine of Cups? Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you, you try to leave this person alone, but something pulls you right back to them. I feel like this is a person who could have a lot of control over you. They could be another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They're, they're the type of person, I told you they're gonna come in like impulsively here with this Eight of Wands. I do feel like this is a person who can kind of like rush in and rush right back out. They may have a habit of being in and out with you. Um, it feels very much like this person comes in almost entitled is what i feel i feel this is one who gets what he or she wants and it's like they're focused on you they feel like you're the one and they're not going to set their sights on anyone else in that particular moment now that's not forever because this person is in and out they're impulsive and so the nights are not long-term commitments the nights are you know for the moment i always hear drake's song i'm here for a good time not a long time you know i like when i see the nights that's what i think about they come in for a short time for fun. They charm you, except the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups as well. They both kind of um, are more focused on long term, but they, but the Knight of Cups, well, I won't go into all of that. Y'all don't care about the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Swords essentially is the one who rushes in and rushes back out. They're in and out, they're impulsive. Let's keep going because y'all know I can talk. I'm about to start going into all the Knights and I was going to be here all night. All right, so we had the two of swords here. I feel like a lot of you feel like even though this is your happily ever after you have seen this person this way, you do feel torn. Libra energy here. You do feel like it is time for me to maybe make a different decision here, which may be difficult for you. It could be a feeling of like, I'm stressed about this. This is a painful thing. I might have to cut you off though. You know, this is also a truce card. So some of you may be, you know, wanting to give this person another shot. I don't know. I feel like they, they're coming and begging and pleading with you and they have been watching you. But for a lot of you, I do feel like you're at a crossroads. It's a stalemate. I feel like you do feel like, how many times am I going to keep going through this with you? So you're a bit indecisive about whether to take this person back. Look at this, the devil with the moon. This person definitely cheated. Secrets coming out with the devil. This is low vibrational energy here. Toxicity, um, addictions, it could be uh, codependency. It could be obsession. It could be abuse, y'all. It could be violence. It could, this person could have a temper on them. It could be a Capricorn or some of you could be on a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Um, definitely feeling like this is third party energy. This is sexual desire and lust as well, which could point to some infidelity, some selfishness, not caring about your feelings. They kept secrets because they were not concerned about how you felt. Okay, so... This person is now showing up as the nine of spores. It could be a Gemini, like I said, and they're feeling regretful and remorseful, which we saw here. It says it right here. But the sympathy card, they're one of your sympathy. I am sorry, please forgive me. Feeling remorseful, pity, sorrow, trouble, and then something that they did. So what did they do? The um, world card. Okay, this coming out with the nine of spores. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. So another fixed sign. Um, I feel like the world card is, is usually a successful card. It's about closure. It's about um, <laughs> completion. It's about going to the next level here. Some, some of them may regret not taking things to the next level with you, maybe leaving you feeling incomplete and like you haven't had closure. Or some of them are feeling bad about the fact that maybe they did something. They could have been traveling when they did something here. This is a card of travel. They could have been on a road trip, a business trip, or just on a trip. Maybe took someone else on a trip. Um, this is someone they could have like unfinished business with. The world card as a challenge can talk about loose ends not tying up loose ends refusing to let something go when it's time to let it go there's something here or you know maybe this is just them feeling like they're not ready to let you go it's going to be different for everyone but let's keep moving because we're already oh my goodness we're at nine minutes this fell in reverse what is this the chariot yeah ace of wands this person didn't have any direction here they do want a new beginning with you they're not sure how to come back towards you though they're lacking direction right now they're all over the place but they do want you back also um more impulsive energy but i always see this card as somebody like walking through a landfill right and there's landmines all over the place they don't know where they are and they're just kind of like running and hoping that they don't explode um 
So I do feel like this person is like burning with this desire to, to talk to you here. I do feel like they're coming in a bit forceful. I told you they feel entitled to you. They feel very entitled, but they also know, they also know that they may get blocked by you. They may get blocked by you. They may not be, be able to overcome the obstacles this time. This is cancer energy. All right. So promiscuity. I just hear promiscuity. Somebody's promiscuous. Oh, I'm not taking all these comments. Okay. Eight of wands. What do you even want to say about these eight of wands? About the eight of wands. This communication coming in. They're moving towards you. Some of them are going to pop up on you. If they live at a distance, they might fly in. This is the, this is about the, you know, plane is in, the, is in the air. The wheels are up. It's in flight. This person could be flying towards you. This is also a travel card. They could live in another state, live abroad. This person is rushing towards you really impulsively and re really entitled here, Aquarius. Um, they're thinking about the things that they've done. They realize that they're wrong. I feel like this person is coming in to communicate with you. They want another chance and to actually move this forward and progress the connection. Keep it going. They're thinking long term with you. But a lot of you are not trying to hear it. You're guarded. Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy, Aries energy. Okay. So let's get some of these and we will be done. Let's just get some messages from them. This person, y'all, they a mess. <laughs> They are a mess. And like I said, they could work a lot, maybe even work um, where they have to travel, commute like a distance. I really feel like somebody stepped on at work. It's a lot of travel and work stuff coming up here. So they could have been messing with a co-worker, whether you know about it or not. Look, addicted to their sex. Some of them could be sex addicts with this uh, devil coming out here. That is very possible. I do feel like they hid this from you if they are. They could just have any kind of addictions. But I also feel like they got caught up in some sexual tryst with someone else. Three more cards. Three more cards for Aquarius, please, Spirit. You are flawless. I wish to experience a love like yours for eternity. You and I are meant to be forever. I told you they're thinking long term with you. This person, who is Lord? They are a mess, y'all. This person is a certified mess. What else? I have to have you. I told you they are so entitled to you. They're obsessed and fixated on you. And that's, for a lot of you, it's because they feel you pulling away. That's why they're watching you, stalking you. I know what love is because of you. Okay, well, y'all take that for what it's worth. Um, this person feels very much entitled to you. They feel like they can do what they want to do. <laughs> but the thought of you with someone else, the thought of you with someone else drives them crazy. Watching you to see if you're with someone else because all these other people want you. And they know it. Like I said, you could be posting pictures on social media. You probably looking nice and sexy and beautiful in your pictures. Getting a lot of likes, a lot of comments. Yeah, y'all like fiery and attractive right now. And they're like, wait a minute, that's my person. Communication is coming. They may want to expose some of their secrets to you. I don't feel like that. I feel like this person is entitled. And I don't feel like they've grown at all. If I'm being completely honest with you, they're certified yes, y'all. All right, those are your messages, Aquarius. Um, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all probably tomorrow. Peace.